Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are now going to do the review of the Lego Harry Potter Game of Play set. Um, in my opinion, it's one of my favorite Harry Potter Lego sets. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of probably like disagreements. I think like the Hogwarts class was better, but in my mind, I really like this. And in the movie, uh, it was a really cool place. And let's get this off with the minifigures. First off, we have this, there are so many minifigures you can see. You have, uh, you have Fred Weasley, George Weasley, Ronald Weasley, Mrs. Weasley. You get Tonks, Soccer Ball, and then a very grumpy Crookshanks. Then you get Sirius, Harry, and Preacher. Um, we're just going to look at some of them, the ones that I think are like the best ones for this set. So let's get to it. First off, we have Creature, and I don't even think it's a really good representation of him, the ragged clothes of the house elf, um, they did his head really, really well, like with the floppy down ears, and overall, I just think his facial expression is something that you would actually find in the movies. Second is Tonks. She, her cloak design is very nice, she does have red hair but i have misplaced it somewhere i'll most likely find it some other day but she's also a two-faced character so if you flip her around um, i i can't really take the head off because it's very stiff uh she has like a pig face because like she her like she can change into animals and i really like that because that brings like the movie vibe into it because i'm pretty sure she's turning into like a duck or a pig in the fifth book Okay, that's it for minifigures. Let's go on to the actual build. Okay, here we are with the actual build. It was quite an easy build to make, just a bit repetitive with the, like, the bricks and everything. But I have to say, they did master the opening of the Grimo place and the closing let's start with the exterior um i would i think that you would actually find this in like a british neighborhood i just like think the architecture is up to like up to like that time where they were filming and like the rails are uh, look nice overall really good design and then in the grill place they got the basically the exact same just dark and i really like how they made it look like in the movie like they're completely different houses even though the exterior looks almost the exact same except for some slight changes and the interior is really really good up on the top we have a bedroom uh, with a blue bed sheet here got a bedroom then we got like this deck kind of thing like like you open it up i forgot what that word is and over here we have a gryffindor bedroom but it's filled with bats which i kind of like as in like the hint that this is an old house then we have the family tree right here really good uh the stickers actually really easy to put on and that really good uh, quality and everything then we have the piano, which I don't really why they put it in here. I don't remember there being a scene with the piano, but it's a nice touch. And then over on this room, we got this little couch, which very good design for the couch. And then down here, we got like where they think I put all their wands. And it's like it's like a landing, like a mudroom. And the kitchen is quite nice. You can move the the uh, the kitchen like the cabinets around to the other side if you want got some mugs glasses and that's where they enter and you just got a shed kind of like a closet that's where i put all their brooms and it's really really nice um yeah and as i say the opening and closing is like really good there are lots of details which i like just a really good set this is how I would have set it up, but obviously you can do it whatever way. 
As I, I forgot to mention that it comes with this earpiece that you can that was used in the fifth to like hear what they are saying in the meeting. And I got Molly Tonks and Shackle Ball in the kitchen with quick sense on the chair looking very grumpy, serious in the portrait room. And then we got Harry and Ron just on like that landing area. And then we have Fred in the in the piano room and then we have George up top with the ear thing and it actually closes you can close it with the mini figures in it and it's actually as I said before it's a really good set I'll give it like solid 9.5 out of 10 see you guys next time